and I went from this to this. Yeah. What's up YouTube, it's your girl Baby Girl Twist aka Twistin back with it with another video and today, today I'm going to be talking about how I lost 22 pounds in 3 months. I basically went from this to this and I'm going to be sharing tips on how I did that. If this is your first time seeing my lovely face on your screen, my name is Twistin. I do entertaining series, vlogs, chit chat, just a little bit of everything and beauty content. Make sure you are staying tuned to my channel and if you like what you see so far, make sure to leave a like and comment and yeah, subscribe to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing my tips, my tricks and also some of the mistakes I made when starting this journey because I made a lot of them, I'm not going to lie. Especially when it comes to food, but before I get into all of that, let's get straight into the video. The world is shaking, COVID happened. I think it was the the ending of November around last year November period things had happened in my personal life that caused me to look at food as a coping mechanism so all I was doing around that period was just eating and sleeping doing work eating sleeping doing work like honestly anything I'll just be inhaling food like especially with taking like cookies and snacks and normally I don't take cookies and stuff because I know I know how my body is shaped and if I start taking all of that I'm going to end up with my belly looking like I'm pregnant previously when I was on track with my fitness journey I got a waist trainer I was working out and I was also waist trainer at the same time so the problem with this is when I fell off exercise I was still wearing the waist trainer because in my head it was like you know it was like this my ass is fat everything is you know good but what the waist trainer was doing was compressing my fat like my fat was still there it was just compressed when i take it off it's just like it pulls out but because i didn't take it off as much like i would wear it for long hours it was so stupid because i wasn't even working out so it was just, i was just deceiving myself please don't be like me because i was eating the food thinking that yeah it was just skip my belly acting like i don't know how my body shape is but yeah around that time i definitely felt uncomfortable with my skin i would look at myself and i just felt like i looked like my problems so it's january i bought a skill i throw out my junk food i ordered groceries and i said i'm about to get this one thing about me i love food i'm not missing no meals for nobody my mindset was i'm going to eat healthy because that's what they said like when you eat healthy i am not measuring we're just eating healthy eventually like it would your body will go back to normal so i did that for like two months i was drinking water just eating food but i was not measuring what i was eating i was even eating as much as i used to eat when i was eating junk food but it was healthy so my mind i was like okay i'm good so i weighed myself starting of january i was like 155 pounds tell me why by the end of february i was 160 and i looked like this if i no laugh i go cry so it's better i laugh who is who, who is she sorry i don't know that girl mm -hmm. it's even come for panda <laughs> still cute oh um, i was like wow when my bum and my stomach started competing who's going to be the biggest that's when i knew i was finished like it was getting to the point where like even you know when you you sucking because you know you ate and you're bloated like i couldn't do that no more but i was not sad i was like oh my god i'm eating healthy what's the problem i started researching more and then i learned more about food because let's let's hold on i'm not about to be on a diet and be starving like i love my meals seasoned respectfully like, i wanted to taste good i want to feel good and i knew that all the strict diets and stuff like that i wasn't going to commit to that long term because i know myself like i need to enjoy what i'm doing so that i stick to it better another thing is counting your calories i, I weighed myself and i calculated the amount of calories i had to take for the day and then i subtracted maybe like 300 to 500 from that to know what calories i should be taking so that's how you kind of figure out how much calories you need to be in a calorie deficit on the scale i have it calculated for me but you can calculate it for yourself there are usually applications online that you can use 
to check how many calories you need in a day i'll definitely link it in the bio let's talk about food first of all i was eating african food let's just start there what i decided to do was remix my african dishes switching the oils i was using from like palm oil vegetable oil to avocado oil of olive oil i got to take paul's advice from lip therapy i started measuring my palm oil no more drinking water should be my best friend i will make them with potatoes choosing the carbs that i can handle knowing which carbs make me more dense because everybody's body type is different carbs like not cutting carbs out completely even falling in love with vegetables like i knew i went on a craze like looking for the, my favorite vegetable that can eat seasoned and i make sure that they're always half of the plates even just researching and knowing that like the most dense thing on my plate should not be the carbs it should be the protein in terms of snacks i just went for fruits like i love taking fruits i enjoyed eating stuff like apple grapefruit like things like that and cucumbers cucumbers was my best friend like i would eat cucumbers like while well, i'm talking to someone and i'm hungry they are very low in calories but they are very satisfying and that's kind of what you want to do when you're on your weight loss journey finding meals that are high in volume that are low in calories but are very satisfying definitely helps you maintain your goals and maintain discipline during your journey because then you're less likely to go back into your old patterns and another thing i did during this period was i did the 80 20% rule so that's 80% clean and 20% junk food I just had I just loved eating McDonald's but my previous McDonald's order was not Big Mac large fries ice cream 10 piece nugget and then a smoothie and I'll finish yeah <laughs> yeah what I get now is I get small fries chicken nuggets apples and water and that's around like i think 500 calories that's basically my order from mcdonald's now so i live in canada and we've been locked up for like six months all we can do is literally walk outside in terms of exercise all i would do was jump rope and when i tell you jump rope is one of the hidden gems of this journey that i did not know about like i lost so much weight when i started jumping rope and i'll show you guys the pictures i literally went from this to this just because i was jumping now i used the app called jump i count how many times i'm skipping for, for a whole month for a whole 30 or i think 31 days i skipped for most of it like 1000 to 2000 skips like for 20 31 days i skipped for a whole month so the first half i did 1000 actually for the first three days i did 500 then i started to do 1000 and i did 1000 for two weeks i thought it was easy so i said okay let me do a challenge let me do one five to 1500 to 2000 so that's actually what i did if i'm going to be honest after that month i didn't really skip as much just because i was lazy i'm not even going to lie but because i was eating healthy and i was also eating in an 80 20 so i wasn't taking out um junk food completely and i wasn't strictly on greens but when i was on greens i definitely saw more definition especially around my waist area in terms of like my daily routine i would say one thing i did was in the morning i would have apple cider vinegar it tastes horrible i think that helped me in terms of cleansing my bowel movements i'll usually have it an hour to three hours before my meal and, and that brings us to today so the gyms are finally open in ontario and this is how i look presently i know a bad bitch or whatever very much but yeah I made this video specifically for those who are currently in the phase of changing or have I would say pull up their routine or going to a bad place or had a hiccup in their fitness or health journey that you're not alone and that i've gone through the same thing as well and i'm just showing you how like raw and like how i really genuinely look like no flitter no no filter nothing but yeah you can't hit yourself to wherever you want to be you have to actually love on yourself in order to actually stick through the process and get through it especially when days you don't you meet the requirements you want to meet and stuff like that just love the journey and it's definitely a hard one because it's tough and it requires discipline but trust me at the end of the day when you start seeing results you'll be grateful and you'll be happy that you did it and honestly the main goal in all of this anyways is to be healthy and 
be energized so you can do your day to day activity. Alright, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this a like if you like this, and also leave in the comment section what you guys want me to do next. Do you guys want me to take you on my fitness journey now that I've lost the weight, or do you guys want me to post a video on my blue activated workout that I do to like maintain my body shape and all of that type of stuff. Alright guys, I'm gonna be signing now by saying go crazy, go stupid, go stupid, go crazy and I'll see you guys back again in some new PGT content. Bye!